Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, psalm 14. To the chief musician, the psalm of David. The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and call not upon the Lord? There were they in great fear, for God is in the generations of the righteous. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor, because the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. That's it. I've noticed that uh, a lot of the psalms at the beginning of the book are very short. I think that they... Uh, I think that they were definitely songs meant to be sung. I don't know how. Some people I've I've heard uh, on YouTube have uh, tried. They they translated it back into uh, ancient Hebrew, and then they sing it with a guitar. Some of them are really amazing. Some are absolutely amazing. Um. This is one that sticks out of my head. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clear my throat for a second here. All right. This is one that has stuck out to me before. Uh, the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good that all the good men have gone aside. They have altogether become filthy. Which I we've been warned about for years and years. I know I've been warned about it for years and years. That things will just continue to get worse and worse if you don't shape up. And I never really understood what that meant until now, of course. But it it is a snowball effect. If you just let if you let standards go, if if you have no righteousness, no morality in your system then you will slowly accept anything it's the um i'm constantly reminded of the old south park episode where they ran out of internet and it was something like all the guys were looking for porn and uh they, it was like standard stuff couldn't do it for them anymore. They had to have like the most off the wall crazy stuff because you know it's that slow build. You know it's that one thing after another after another after another, and that's where we've gotten to today. Is that we've slowly tolerated tolerance. It just has. We've gotten to the point now to where we are told it's it's not even a, a suggestion anymore. You're being told, if you don't tolerate this, then you are X, you know? And we've tolerated so much stuff, and it's just snowballed to the point to where it's just depravity. It's it's literal depravity right in, in the streets. And I don't know how many videos I've seen of stark, raving, mad, naked people. running out in the middle of the road just 
doing randomly stupid crap. And I constantly think that's that's demons. Those are demons. It it says it says in the book that it says in the Bible that there were those when 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 Christ was walking around, they were tearing off their clothes and babbling profane things in the streets. And there were several of these that he healed that that tells you that demons don't like clothes. Demons don't like coverings for some reason. I don't I don't know why. But they don't. So they will tear off their clothes and they will run out into the streets. And they will yell the most profane things. They will just be, they will go insane. They will absolutely go insane. And I have seen so many videos of that, especially recently. Saw one the other day of some black woman just got naked, just walking out in the middle of the streets of London. Like it was nothing. Guys that are stripping down completely naked, running through, running through Walmart. The one guy that, oh, Walking through Walmart, taking fruit and rubbing it all over himself. I just. We have accepted levels of depravity that have gotten us to this point. And. I still say we can turn it back. Some people don't think we can. I, I still think it's possible. If we can't, we can't. The Father has told me that, that I need to keep trying in any way that I can. The first thing he said was I have to get myself away from the madness. And he has helped us get, you know, that's what this whole what this whole move is you know is us trying to move out of out of the edge of this city because this edge of the city the east side of indianapolis has become a sleaze pit <laughs> it's just become so bad now we uh we we took a drive down just down washington street which is the main drag down here and i have never seen it so filthy so bad and the people just the people just have this just glazed over I hate to use the term zombified but it is what it is it's a zombified look to them they just I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I really don't know how to describe it. Because it's not completely demonic, but I have to think that I have to think that this is the way when Sodom and Gomorrah and the other cities were at their worst. This had to have been what it was like. Trash in the streets just Wild-eyed, crazy people just wandering around trying to figure out what they're going to do. Drugged out. <sighs> just drugged out people everywhere just trying to find a fix. I'm not seeing hookers yet. I'm, I'm sure that that's coming. There, there's probably going to be a... <laughs> probably be a National Sex Workers Day before too long. Um... But the trash, just the... The trash and the filth. Shopping carts. Shopping carts are starting to line up at the bus stop. I've never seen that before. They're, they're starting to line... Like, you will, you will have, like, five, ten shopping carts. One of them will be full of trash. Because they're using them as trash cans. It's it's absolutely insane. 
businesses going out because people don't want to work. People don't want to work because they can get free money. Which is even more insane. <laughs> we we went to uh we went to Burger King. I know that's probably not where we should be eating. We went to Burger King just because we were we just needed food. We'd been out for so long that we couldn't go home and fix something. And they had two people working there. And they couldn't they couldn't order anything or they couldn't make anything up because they only had the two people working there because even the woman said, Nobody wants to work. Sorry. I'm like, damn, man. Damn. It's crazy. And that stuff is there to take down the country. What once used to be a country of morals and standards, even if even if the people did not like them, like me, because I was there, I used to be one of those people that used to hate this country for the for the strict rules and regulations that this country used to have that they used to impose on people. I used to be one of those. I used to be one of those that used to rebel against the system. This country still had standards. We had lines that we would not cross. And 20 years later, we've we've crossed just about every line. It's we just let it slip a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. I I just glanced down at the book and my eyes fell on. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord. And I know I pointed that out in other places who eat up my people as they eat it bread. Can we even talk about cannibalism? <laughs> Can is that even a thing on YouTube? Can we even talk about that without getting flagged? I mean, is there going to be like a are we going to get a, a Wikipedia entry if we if we say something about cannibalism? Jeez. I said two years ago, I got a Facebook memory on this. I said two years ago about um, the elites. I don't know if it was Bilderberg or Davos or whoever. But they got together talking about the talking about the upcoming food crisis. Isn't that interesting? Two years ago, they were talking about an upcoming food crisis. Talking about the upcoming food crisis and things that we should do. And one of the things I said was, these people are seriously talking about eating human, eating human beings. There was one guy that actually came up and had said, well, well maybe we should eat people. <laughs> It's the standards. When you let your standards slip, they just keep slipping and keep slipping and keep slipping. And no one seems to notice because everyone is distracted by their televisions, by their phones. This can, this can only happen now because everybody has a phone. Because Obama gave out enough free phones that everyone has this distraction device in their hands which consumes 
almost half of the entire time that a human being is awake. Probably more than half for most people. But this could only happen now that so many people are dulled down to the point that they just won't pay attention. They can't pay attention because they're so... They're so driven by the madness of this world, by the evil of this world. And all they care about is the amount of the amount of online respect and love that they can get. It's just so tragic. People saw it coming ten years ago. People were talking about it then, but nobody listened. And I knew it was coming. I, I was one of those people that I had listened to him and I said, you're right, it's going to happen. I didn't think it would happen on this kind of scale, but I knew that it was going to happen because I could see it. I could see my, my ex-girlfriend. She was falling into the trap. She would be on her phone constantly. She'd be on the computer constantly. She'd be in front of the TV on her phone with her friends in the room on their phone. And I saw it happening. And, and I said, that's, that's going to be the problem. Sooner or later, that's going to be the problem. And lo and behold, I see it now. It's people sitting in front of their television, every single one of them on a phone, and they're, they're, they're not interacting. The only time they ever interact is to show, show somebody something they found on, on the Internet. And it's, when you get everybody addicted to the internet, all you have to do is start lowering the standards of the internet, which is what they've done. They, they've lowered the standards of the internet so far that I didn't want to get this far into it. And I know that you know, sometimes I can go off on a tangent and we can just sit here and talk and talk and talk. And I didn't want to get that far into it because it is the morning and I do have to log into work eventually. But that's why I said that going through the Psalms, reading these, understanding these, understanding where people were back then, comparing it to what we have now. Seeing how much it's been cleaned up since Christ had died. Because when, when Christ died, it cleaned up. Everything cleaned up. We that. I don't want to just say, you know, well, the world. I mean, the whole world cleaned up. Because before that, it was pretty depraved. Uh, it's why that's why a lot of those those old uh, those old countries fell. Those old kingdoms fell. It's because the depravity just got to a point that it just couldn't it it couldn't sustain itself. So they built something else, and that couldn't sustain itself. So something else came along just on top of the ashes of it. Now, of course, we know that, you know, all of these kingdoms are just the same kingdom over and over again. They just said, well, you know, the first one failed. Let's, let's, let's call it a different name, but we'll still have the same, we'll have the same thing. We'll just, we'll, we'll tweak it a little bit to make the, the people think that it's not the same thing. And America is the same way. America is Rome. America is Greece. America is Egypt. America is Mesopotamia. The same old stuff. Where it's just lie after lie after lie. That's a completely different subject, though. I'm going off on a tangent again. All right, guys. I am going to get off of here. Thank you for coming around and listening. God bless you all. Stay true. To yourself. And pray. For the full armor. And discernment. Of God. Of the Father.
and start start bringing your standards back. Don't just accept what's given to you. Take your standards back. Take back what was once yours. So that we don't we don't have to just deal with what's coming up. That's all I gotta say for right now. So thank you guys very much. Uh we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.